Hi, Gail here. We are June, beginning of June, so we have a whole new month in front of us now. And this is Radio Hawks Bay. The program is life coaching with Gail in the psychic, intuitive uh, realm of things. So I'm a type tarot reader, I'm a noetic scientist, life coach, uh, counsellor, all of those things that can help you navigate your life, resolve issues, find solutions to problems and navigate life much more smoothly and easily. Life is challenging enough in a lot of ways so it's nice to be able to have a little bit of guidance and that's what I can give you quite often with insight and my other abilities to see what's really going on. Sometimes we look at a situation and we assume this is the picture, this is the situation when actually a lot of other things can be going on underneath all of that. So it's just nice to get a little bit more depth and perspective uh, for you to be able to make choices and handle things uh, the way that you would like to. So we are June and in June we always uh, look at the tarot uh, for those of you that have a, 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 a discomfort with tarot we'll just remind you again that they are identical to our modern day playing cards and it's simply that there are more cards <coughs> that are contained in the tarot. We tend to delete things, I say this a lot, think about our words, uh, Shakespeare, the philosophers of the old time and all the eloquent words that they used. Today we only use a few of those and with texting we use even less. We seem to have gotten better with the texting side of things now but there was a time when we needed to abbreviate and shorten words even. So a lot of essence and, and value and meaning gets lost when we uh, delete and leave things behind but tarot is the same. Uh, pretty much everything to do with our life journey has been left out of our modern playing deck um, of cards. So we've got June and we've got things happening up in the sky as happens you know all the time for us. It um, affects our moods, it affects our attitudes, it affects our perspective and our approach on life and our ability to understand what's going on. This month is the month of relationships and the first relationship, the most important relationship, is the relationship with yourself. And you don't have to deliberately think about, oh do I have to think about myself, do I have to do things for myself. No, the, the motivation will be that you will feel that you need to look after yourself a little bit more, that you need to reflect on things a little bit more. Um, if you just ask yourself, how am I handling life right now? Am I happy in my work? Am I happy in my general life? And, 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 and look at it a little bit more deeply. It's like, well, why, why, are this, why is this a struggle? Especially if it's something from the past and you thought you'd dealt with all of that. Why is this a struggle? June is the month things start to come together. But it's also, it comes together in a little bit of reflection for yourself. We've got, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to have a quick little look. I'll just remind you that the year in general is to do with um, it luck. So, and, 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 and it's a double whammy because we've got Jupiter that's present and that is the planet of luck. We have um, the year itself which is a seven which is luck. It's about seven year cycles so cycles coming to um, 
be rounded off you have but luck and it's luck in both ways you know um, you know we had a cyclone that you was it was bad luck and so many times including myself I heard people saying we are so lucky we were lucky that we got out we were lucky that we escaped the worst of it we were lucky that we got out with our lives our even if everything else is lost and it is about that for 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 the year it's all around luck around finances uh, worth and value so that's your worth that's yeah what are you worth what what do you value it is um, been a period of time recently over the last couple of months where you actually have been able to say what you need say what matters to you it's like staking your claim and defending your value so it's like I'm worth more I'm worth this I'm worth what we um, can uh, have in repatriation and um, going forward what we need to be able to live um, rebuild whatever whatever that is and so June is around all round growth that's in every area of your life it is about appreciating yourself more and letting go of anything that's stopping you from loving yourself completely so it's a big deal so your negative talk patterns it's letting go of the negative talk, pat talk patterns and if you find it very hard to let go simply reinforce positive thought patterns um, how would you like to think of yourself what kind of person would you like to be and reinforce those things to yourself because guaranteed they are part of who you are now the best part of who you are so letting go of negative self-talk anything that is a that is something that you've stopped yourself from doing whether it's lack of confidence or um, just having really strict boundaries around relationships particularly because it's relationship month it's it's let that go let your barriers down give it a try just to be in the moment and go with the flow uh, interact with anybody who crosses your path without judging it just enjoying it surprise you what will come out of that actually and and we, we get to the 4th of June and it'll be easier for you to do these things um, the it's a full moon and it's in Sagittarius and so it will actually help you with all that I've just said and then we have this planet Venus that comes in on the 5th and there's this like uh, energy that stays for the rest of the year so Venus is the planet of love so we're talking self-love at the moment but it's love for your partner it's love for your children it's love for your mother and your father and your family no matter no matter the hardships you've been through it's love is unconditional when it's at its best when it's true it is that you still love them even though you can strangle them kind of thing uh, at times so we get to the 11th of June and there's an energy that comes in that's very sort of social butterfly it's it's a kind of it's a lovely 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 energy that comes in around the 11th and when we get to the 17th of June we've got Saturn going in retrograde remember we had Mercury retrograde well we've got and then Pluto retrograde for a shorter time and then um, with less impact and now we've got Saturn going retrograde on the 17th 
but that's not as hard or as misunderstanding and un uncommunicative as Mercury was when it went retrograde. So it pushes you though to review what you have control over in your life and what you don't have control over. So there's this thing, it's like if you can't control something, there's no point stressing over it. It's out of your hands, it's just how are you going to navigate that? How are you going to manage that? And you'll just do your best. Just, you have absolutely overcome so many obstacles in your life, so many hardships in your life. You didn't know what those hardships were going to be before they started. You didn't know how you were going to manage them. And yet you did. And so you always will. So there's no point stressing. It's more, what can I do right in this moment that will help me in this moment get through this bit? Avoid looking ahead too far because stress comes of worrying about what might happen, what if. And so therefore it is about things that are not even real. It's about an illusion. So then we come into, so 21st of June is, that's our winter solstice. So, you know, that's, um, because we're down here in the, in, in, in the lower part of the world, it's gonna be, it's, supposedly it's coldest. But at least, I always look at, um, I always look at the solstice as all good spring's coming because I find winter a little difficult and challenging sometimes. So I go, mm, yay, every day springs a, little, a, a day closer, even though it gets very cold after that. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You can um, support yourself in, in whatever is hard for you by saying something or doing something that brings the promise of something else. And I said, don't look ahead. Um, but when it's something that doesn't stress you, when it's something that's pleasurable, that you can look forward to, absolutely. Look ahead. Only in a, only in a positive way will it work though. So also, once we get to the winter solstice, you'll get a real push um, to make some plans for self-care. So if you haven't done anything before then, you'll just something will happen and you will know you'll have to look after yourself. Um, we don't, um, that can come in any way. So, so simply just start, start looking at yourself and self-caring now before the 21st. On the 30th, we've got Neptune that goes retrograde and that's about not just when you have hunches, it's about Reflect on your hunches, your instincts, your, oh, hang on, I've got a feeling here. So you just sort of sit with it, you reflect on it. Um, because it's got meaning and importance, it, it also, also it's a time to reflect on your beliefs and whether your beliefs are supportive or unsupportive to yourself. And anything else that's um, not quite real. We, we, we're fed with a lot of um, social media in all kinds of ways. We are told things and we believe them because we're told them over and over and over again. And yet some of these things are not, not really real. With June and you looking at yourself and letting go of um, a whole lot of stuff that doesn't work for you anymore, a whole lot of um, outworn beliefs. It's just about looking at what's really real. So if somebody, like, like society has been, we've been led to believe that everything is about money, pretty much. And yes, we need money, we do, we need a lot of money. But we've been shown through um, disasters, the most valuable thing, uh, kindness, compassion, uh, giving. And 
that doesn't cost, but it gives so much. It feeds and it supports. So, just um, around 30th of June, keep an eye out for things where perhaps you misunderstand things that could be in, in work or in, in general life. Um, and it's time then to channel your um, imaginative side and your as much as you can imagine for yourself for the future to put it into a future vision for yourself so again it's all the positive things and it is around things to do with finances as in more financial security being happier um, being appreciative of all the lovely wonderful things that there are around um, I didn't mention it before but June 5th Mars and Lilith uh, are in Leo's kingdom and, and for you, if you don't understand, don't worry about it. But it, it pretty much deals with the face that you show the world, as in who you present yourself as. It's kind of a quite a defining cosmic moment for the year and it helps you to inspire others and yourself. It um, encourages us to show our face to the world with dignity and time to affirm what you want um, for yourself, what you wish to have for yourself. And yeah, what form that will look like by end of winter. So that's just a little bit of a um, an update on June. Um, I just have to quickly say, time goes quite fast. We're going to do the cards, but I just have to say, be aware of your um, the fact that you have a bubble that surrounds you called your aura, which is your energy field and that we interact with our environment so we take things from our environment and into our energy field and when it's sunny we take in that lovely sunshine the feeling of the nature and everything around us and same when it's um, stormy sometimes storms can reinvigorate our energy fields um, or they might be a little bit overwhelming. It is the same when you're out in the world. Now you could be in a place and that place could be bustling with activity and that's energy and energy and energy and you're absorbing that energy. You could be around a group of people who are um, talking about some kind of um, anti or protest or something like that and you're going to pick up on that energy. It either will feel pleasant or unpleasant to you, as in you'll feel supportive of it or unsupportive of it. But everything that you uh, everything that you are involved with, everything that you expose yourself to is brought into your energy field. I just am saying this so that you are aware that you are very much affected uh, every day and in every way where you put yourself, uh, who you put yourself with um, and what the energy is like around you. Everything, um, if your work entails helping people who are sick, then your intention and positivity in helping those people helps you give out that energy to those people around you rather than you taking on their um, health or disposition. Just to be aware that if you are a bit in one of those environments and you're a bit run down that you could well be affected or feel symptoms of another person. That's an empath and we're all empathetic you know empathetic in some way but some are, are stronger than others and you need to have a very strong 
vibration of giving, healing, love, help. Um, and so if your energy is a bit down, just to protect yourself a little bit, make sure that you can, um, yeah, bolster up that energy of giving, helping, that you're doing this for this person for a reason, so that you don't kind of end up being low in energy and succumbing to the flu or things like that. That tends to be how we do it because we get overtired. But just to be aware, so you have you have the power to put yourself where you need to put yourself for energy that feeds you, okay? And this is very much about this month. So let's have a little look at cards for June, just to see general what's coming up for you in June 2023. This is, it is a Take control of the things you can take control of. This says that there's a lot that you can actually do this month in your life to um, affect the change you want, to support yourself. You'll be able to see more clearly what has to be done on a practical level. Do it, especially if it's for yourself. And business uh, features quite strongly this month. Um, large organizations so if you work for a large organization then they may be putting things in place this month that are changes uh, regulations then they might be being generous with a pay rise we'll go for that one let's have another look June have a look at your what holds you back in life that is something that you do? Um, maybe you do it just to get by. Maybe you do it to um, help with stress. Just look at what ties you up, keeps you needing to do it or needing to use it. So this is the one where we look at our addictive aspects of our nature as well. We all have them. If it's coffee, or if it's um, alcohol, or if it's gambling, or if it's um, a family. <laughs> Not that you can actually be um, held back by family to an extent, and but you can be held back by your obligation that you feel to family. So it's more about your obligation um, that would be making you feel trapped or restricted and you can can be in control of that this says you can be in control of anything that you feel stops you from being feeling free this month okay next one is future so you can we say don't think ahead when it comes to worrying and stressing planning for the future and positive things that you want to have, goals, uh, where you want to see yourself this time next year, always being realistic. This needs to have a very practical way of being able to do it this month. If you look at wanting to go on holiday in March next year, then you plan it, you save for it, you make arrangements, you look at where you're going and, and see how they are, where you can go, what tourist spots and all sorts of things. So that's the planning and, and practical side of things. Uh, if it is to do with finances and money, then again, it is a, a roundabout um, putting those things into practical steps. Now, this is Radio Hawks Bay. This is your community radio. And we have been through the cyclone. So for a lot of you, this month, you, you it says you can start to make some uh, practical moves and plans toward the future. So a lot of you still are in limbo as far as the housing, your housing and everything else. It just says start to make some really definitive plans about what you want your house to look like when you rebuild, what you want to um, put in the garden. You know, do you want a veggie garden that was bigger than the one that you had before? It doesn't have to be big things, sometimes just little things. Now our time has gone, as it does so quickly, 
Uh, you have been listening to Gail, Radio Kidnappers. My number is 027 4166 545 if you would like to have an individual reading or session with me. Um, on that note, have a lovely, lovely day and a lovely couple of weeks and I will see you again in mid-June. Namaste.